Hey, hey, what's happening? My friends out on YouTube. Hope all is well. Chip Mitchell coming back at you today. I've got a video. You know what? When you're riding your, your Riker, right? And you're out there and you want to communicate with your friends. Tell them about how great it is to enjoy the ride. You, how do you do that? You can't pick up the phone and talk through your helmet. No, you got to have a Bluetooth system. So I thought I'd talk about my Bluetooth system today. The HJC smart system. Hey, I love it. Let's get at it. Hey, what's happening folks? How are you? My name is Chip Mitchell. Welcome to another edition of Enjoy the Ride. Hey, I hope all things are going well for you. Uh, today I wanted to do something different. I wanted to talk a little bit as much about riding the Riker, but how do I stay connected while riding the Riker? You know, a lot of times you're in your car, you know, you got your favorite tunes, maybe favorite radio station or uh, you you know, if you're old school, you got cassettes or CDs, right? Or maybe you're streaming your music and uh, the car allows us to do that, which is great. Uh, but what do you do when you're on the bike? A lot of times, you know, you get folks that get speakers and they put amps and things like that uh, for the outside. I I'm not into that just yet. I like the music in my helmet. And so uh, when I first began this journey of getting a helmet, I was trying to think long term and saying, OK, if I get a helmet, what are some uh, options for Bluetooth that I can get speakers inside the helmet? And uh, when I looked at the HG, uh, HJC helmet, I knew that it uh, had a Bluetooth system here, which is great. The Smart, smart H, H, I can't even speak today, HJC uh, Bluetooth system, because this system is made to fit the HJC helmet. And so I said, man, well, I'll get the HGC helmet, HJC, and then once I uh, get a Bluetooth system, I'll get the one that matches it. And I tell you, so I've had this thing for uh, a few months now, uh, and this thing is awesome. It, 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 first of all, installing it, uh, it was really easy because this helmet inside has all the uh, necessary uh, place fittings for all the attachments here. So this was made to go with this helmet. So it was really simple uh, to install. It fit right on there. This piece is, you know, that's really the, the brains of the whole thing. The battery's in the back. Uh, the helmet comes with a slot for the battery, which is in the back. And honestly, when you look at it, uh, it just looks natural. It looks like it's made for uh, this helmet, which actually it was. And the speakers that are inside are great. You got a microphone that fits up inside there, uh, which is really, really good. And the brains of, this is how you control on the side. I mean, it's really uh, simple. And, you know, I, I thought it was gonna be really hard taking the helmet apart, pulling out some of the pads and so forth and getting it in there, but it really wasn't. It was really simple. And, uh, you know, you get it in, then it's like, okay, let's get this bad boy up and running. And doing the Bluetooth connection, it comes with uh, a quick start uh, manual, which is really simple, very simple manual uh, in multiple languages. Um, but it's a real easy fold out. Uh, and it's, you know, the operation of it was simple. Connecting it to my phone uh, was very simple. What are, what are some of the things? Well, one, the Bluetooth connection was really easy. Um, connecting it to my cell phone, I listen to Spotify or YouTube uh, when I'm out riding and uh, phone calls, and it is just perfect. You hear everything. There, Honestly, when I'm riding, sometimes, especially when I'm not on the highway, I have to turn the volume down because for me, it's just you know loud. Now, it's not a Bose earpiece system with this like bass that's like boom and shaking your body. But I tell you, it the tunes that come out on this thing sound incredible. Uh it it's it really I don't lose any sleep going from the car to the motorcycle when it comes to the sound of my music in my ears. And and I really I mean it just it just does well. You know, the sound uh, on the highway, you know, you're doing 60, 65 miles an hour, you hear it very clearly uh, with regards to your music. Now, I will say this, when you are on the highway, 
and uh, you're having a phone call. So say someone calls you, you listen to your music, everything sounds great. The phone call comes in. Uh, you can you can have a dialogue. The the cool thing is when people hear me talking on this when I'm on the highway, they said it sounds like I'm sitting in my house. They don't hear any wind. They don't hear any background noise. Uh, my daughter's always saying, she goes, are you really riding a motorcycle? And I'm like, yeah. She goes, it sounds like you're in the car, like like you're at home. I, she, I said, you don't hear the wind? She goes, no, I don't hear anything. It is clear as day, which that's awesome. But I will say this. It is a little uh, hard to hear uh, someone having dialogue with you on the phone when you're doing 70 miles an hour. You're, you're up around 65. It, it is a little hard sometimes to hear them because of the wind noise they hear you like it's nothing uh but i don't know but when you're driving around not on the highway it's it's really clear it, there's no issue whatsoever but i will tell you if you're riding on the highway really fast uh when it comes to having a phone conversation now maybe that might be my helmet because my helmet possibly uh lets in a little too much wind uh, or at least the noise from it, but no one complains about hearing my voice. Matter of fact, they, they think I'm at home talking on my phone, so exceptional. Uh, but, yeah, tooling around town and all these other places, 40, 50 miles an hour, it's, you can have a conversation all the time. I will say this, it, it's pretty amazing how um, multi-purpose this thing is, right? So. If you put in your GPS and you use your phone for your GPS, it connects with that very easily. But if you are listening to music and your GPS is on as well, it's it's just like the car. It'll interrupt the music a little bit. The music goes down, and then the uh, GPS will tell you exactly when to turn, how far your turn is off. That works really fine. If you're listening to your music, you get a phone call. You answer that call, and uh, you, you know the music turns off. Once you get off the call, guess what? Music comes right back on. You you don't miss a step. And I was like, wow, because I was nervous about you know the GPS and listening to music. Would it work? And it it's flawless. It it, it it's flawless how it works. Um, and so that was that was pretty uh, pretty amazing to me. Um, it has eight-way intercom system, so you can have up to eight people. Uh, if you're riding with your buddies and so forth, you can have like eight folks on there uh, where you can uh, talk between each person. Simple clicks on the plus and minus buttons and the center buttons allows you to switch to persons that you want to speak to. Um, it uh, has a distance of up to one mile. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, you could be a mile apart and uh, have a great intercom system. I haven't used that just yet, uh, but that's pretty cool, uh, especially if you get separated and things like that. Uh, so I, I think the thing is pretty pretty amazing. It does come with an app if um, you wanna use the app. I haven't even begun to use the app. The app will make it even easier if you wanna use that. Um, you know, it has some voice commands, some simple uh, voice commands. You say, hey, Sienna, Senna, and it can, play the radio, uh, play music, next track, you know, then you can do voice to call, you can do uh, speed dial, you know, you, you speed dial, or you can actually say the, you know, call, put the number in, 215, dot, 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 and it'll actually make the phone call with you. That's pretty cool, too, um, to have uh, a little bit of voice command. It's not, you know, extensive, pretty basic, it's got like four four different commands, which, you know, I, I think that's enough uh, for what you're doing. But honestly, for me, I, I mean, I got the phone right there. It's just a, a clip. But if you don't have gloves that allow you to use your touchscreen on your phone, the voice commands are absolutely essential. Uh, it has playback control, so if you listen to music, you know, you click to go forward, you click to play that track again or go backwards, you can pause it just by a simple click. And it's, it's really tech, you can feel the textiles here pretty simply on uh, the side of your helmet. It's really easy to feel and maneuver your way. Even with gloves, you feel the groove and you know that that's the plus, you know that's the minus, you know the center button. And it makes it easy to navigate with your fingers, whether you're wearing gloves or not. 
Um, really, really a great system to have. It does have the uh, microphone if you want the microphone that comes out. If you have an open face helmet uh, 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 or the bottom portion of it modular, you want to do that. Mine is inside, so it's all in there. I don't have to do anything. I put the helmet on, and boom, I'm ready to go. Uh, connecting to your phone is very simple. It's quick, and it's easy. Uh, this thing, I, I tell you, man, it's, it's, it's amazing. The battery life. Um, the battery only went dead once, and that was uh, when I first got it. Uh, I didn't charge it, uh, you know, fully because it had a charge. And I just went out and was riding, and all of a sudden, it got staticky, and, uh, and then it cut out on me. But this thing is absolutely amazing, and it's it's uh, it it works really well, and it allows you to do a number of things. Uh, I have not figured out just yet. Like, say, if I'm riding and I want to record my voice uh, onto my cell phone. Uh, while I'm riding. I haven't figured that out just yet. I think I just need to download the app and it'll allow me to probably do something like that uh, because I wanted to, you know, went out doing rides and things like that. Uh, wanted to showcase, you know, some of the areas and talk about it while I'm riding. Uh, I thought that would be pretty cool, uh, but I haven't done that yet. I'll get to that. Um, what else? Is, you know, will it fit with other helmets? You know, I don't know. I know it's made specifically for this, Generally, these uh, are, um, you know, they make accommodations for many different types of helmets. But I will say this, for the H, because it's made for this helmet, you, this is a no-brainer. Uh, really, really easy to use. Phenomenal battery life. Uh, I, I just tell you, uh, great purchase. If you're uh, interested in checking this out, uh, you know, hit uh, the link at the bottom um, and you can uh, get a chance to uh, purchase this and put it in. I tell you, this thing, it was worth it. I, when I'm out riding at night or during the day, I got different types of music that I'm playing. Man, I just hit it and boom, it's coming through my helmet and it sounds incredible. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Hey, what I need you to do, like and subscribe. Come on, like and subscribe. Click the button for the brother. Click the button. Click it, click it. Hey, I'm almost up to 1,000 subscribers, over 900. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> I had no idea that this thing would take off the way it has. Uh, another great product. Chip Mitchell coming at you. Take care. Have a great one.